like a nice spot, Mr. Jamie. Lovely. Can we have lunch there? Yeah, there's a couple of picnic tables and a lanky lookout. Yes, yeah, a nice little dams to look at. Nice. Lovely. I'll be there in just a second. Hi, I'm Ken from High Country TV, and he is... I'm Jamie from High Country TV. Today, we're doing a walk around on my car. So, it's out of shot at the moment, but you'll see it. And just show you a few things that we've done to it, or I've done to it. It's so, stay happening. tuned. We're going to have a look around this thing. There's a few bells and whistles on it that you guys have never seen in the videos, and Ken's going to explain all of the and ifs and buts. Uh, and if so, any of it was worth it. <laughs> I think all of it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. So, stay <laughs> tuned. Definitely. Thank you. Hi guys, we're at Lancy Lookout, having a look around Ken's XL7 that you saw from the last nine episodes. So I'll let you take it away, Ken. Yeah, hi. Yeah, well, Jamie, this is uh, Guido. Guido. I, I like to name my cars, because I can never remember the bloody registration number. <laughs> anyway, um, so I got this off a of mate, Joe, thank you Joe, a few years ago. Needed a bit of work for the motor and stuff, it was pretty cheap, uh, and I thought, It'll do for getting my two dogs around. I had two dogs at the time. Uh, they didn't fit my other little Suzuki, so I couldn't go camping with them. And since then they passed away, so I've made it into a bit of a tour for me. So I've got the uh, King's Laser, just the Mark 1s on the front of this. Really, really happy with them. Jamie's actually got them on the uh, Great Wall Cannon as well. He's got the Mark 2s and they're even brighter again. But very happy with these. I got a couple of little uh, eBay specials just for corner lights, get a bit of light out there where the roos are. Uh, it came with the TJM, well, AME and bull bar. As long as they're very small bulls, it should be fine. <laughs> um, I've fitted a winch cradle in under there because it didn't have one. It doesn't attach to the bar. The bar's a cover over it, so I haven't altered the actual mounting of the, the, the bull bar or anything like that. Uh, in there I've got a 9,000 pound come up winch, which very good winch for a Chinese winch. I'm very happy with them. There's a story behind that, but that'll be another day. Um, other than that, up the top we've got a Phillips light bar that uh, Jamie nicely donated to me a few years ago because he didn't need it. And on top of the roof itself, we have a 320 watt solar panel. Get it off the ground a little bit more because I want it to have a little bit of clearance. You can't get a lot in these, but I've got a 40 mil uh, Dobinson's lift in it with uh, springs and shocks all around. And I'm running some BFG all-terrain tyres, KM2s. And they're about 40 mil bigger than standard. I know, just running on the standard rims because they work fine. And yeah, it, it, does, it does the trick nicely. I fitted a bash plate under the front here the other day. Um, it's actually off an older Vitara, but... All right, Ken, so we're at the back of your car. Yeah. What's going on with the back of your car? You've got this big thing on the back with... <laughs> with with a, a gas bottle holder? Yeah. So this is my first ever jerry can holder I put on the back because there's nowhere to mount fuel on this car. Like, you can't stick a jerry can in the back of the car. Yep. So, nowhere to mount a jerry can. You can't mount it on the sides, that's illegal. I could have put it on the roof, but I've got a solar panel up there. Yep. So, I made this. And uh, I'll get out of the way. You can, you can get out of the way if you want. So, it swings open. Latch. Latch is nice. Sorry. So, you can open the back, back door. Nice and clever, you got a rubbish bag? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we'll go over that. Got a rubbish bag? So, I've got the rubbish bag here, which just got off the internet. Cheapy. Gas bottle with a bracket and a mount that I made, which yep. I've incorporated one of the one of the GoPro camera mounts onto. Yep. Made that the other day because the plastic one's a bit dodgy. Put some of these lights up here. They come on with reverse, so you can just switch them on from inside and just have a mattress here. Drawers from Kings, the Titan ones. Ah. Recovery gear. And this is like a kitchen thing now. It slides back in all the time, so I've just got a little hockey strap to stop it from doing that. Which you've got to put on the handle. I made this before I realised Kings actually had them. So that's a table idea that I came up with. At the same time, the guys at Kings did. Yep, very cool. In here's all my kitchen stuff, the stove. Uh, I've got a solar panel controller in here. There's some switches for lights. There's LEDs. There's little LEDs on here. 
you can see fire extinguisher up there and so what have you got on this side of your car because there's all sorts of gizmos and gadgets in this car <laughs> so jamie yep inside here i took the back seats out because i wanted to have a bit more load space without having to unload my bed so i can go to bed so i can rock up to camp jump in there and go to sleep don't have to worry about packing anything up or setting anything up so i've got boxes for the cappuccino machine and food and there's still some room there for other stuff uh also in here i've got the 3000 watt inverter so we can make cappuccinos yay and of course the bed that's about it here we've got a two and a half meter awning which i've put some led lights in just so i can we've got some lights which uh comes in quite handy so i managed to get a snorkel for this there's only one manufacturer in the whole of the world from what i can find um to make one for a grand vitara or an xl7 and this is it Oops. it's fiberglass don't hit it too hard hey um, ken what have you got on the passenger side of the car because you've got another one of these yeah that's a 270 awning so that swings right around he's the he's greedy he like has two awnings two awnings well you know it's it's uh, i don't like to get wet when it's raining so set the awnings up and you can do whatever you want yeah what have we got in this side uh, we open up the magic back door this is the expensive side of the car so in here So in here we've got Hins Ridge, we've got a 20 litre jerry can of water, I've got a Giants 135 amp hour slimline battery, and on top of that I've got a DC DC from Kings to make it all work and plug the solar panel into that. Uh, underneath I've got room for other bits and pieces, at the moment I've got the telescope in there and the tripods. Uh, there's enough room in there to put my chainsaw, all that sort of stuff. So with the fridge, perfect for making margaritas. So next time we go camping, we're going to open it up. And we're going to have all the ingredients for margaritas. <laughs> all right, maybe not margaritas. With the front door now, yeah. some um, cool stuff on the inside of the front of this car. And it also got us on our last trip for the, the eight day travel that we did. Show us in the front. In here. Right. Uh, not a lot of room for passengers. <laughs> well, there is, but I just loaded up with all my crap. Anyway, I've got GMA UHF, which is actually new since the last trip we did because we had trouble with my radio and Jamie couldn't hear me if he was less than a you know kilometre away. So, new radio. We've got a little GoPro camera up here so that uh, I can talk to the camera while I'm driving like Jamie was doing, which uh, I didn't do on the last trip. But we'll get around to that. Up here we've got a, um, a Navman GPS which is also a crash cam or what we like to call bump cam. We were thinking of using it but nah, it just took photos every time I went over a bump. So that's also got off-road mapping on it as well. A uh, little Chinese pumpkin stereo in there which has got some mapping on it but that's also, you know, phone UHF. Not UHF. It's got the phone so I can talk hands-free. Works pretty well. Um, air compressor switch, just other bits and pieces that you find in a car normally. People are probably wondering why we're doing a, a walk around film shoot of a 2002 XL7, which is a bit old, and then, you know. The idea was. We want to show that you don't actually have to spend the big dollars to go out and enjoy what we do and enjoy the view. I've been doing this for about 30 years and we've seen a few views that are pretty good. So YouTube's come along we thought, yeah, why don't we get in on this and uh, try and show a few people what's around just in our local area. All right. Well, thanks for showing us around your car, Ken. I think uh, everybody will be impressed that, you know, you can get so many bits and pieces in a Suzuki, to be honest. And Hey, it's getting you from A to B to C to D and showing all these people that you can do it on a budget. So I think that's vitally important. You don't have to spend a fortune on a four-wheel drive to actually get out to the bush. Yep, well thank you Jamie for taking interest in it. I hope you guys at home have had a bit of a look and gone, well hey, it's, that's cool. Don't need a $30,000 whatever it is to start with. Um, that's it, I appreciate it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Again, like Ken said just before, uh, we're a new channel. We love getting out here and showing you guys this, but we need like, subscribe, shares, 
Um, get us out there to your friends. We are going to get better and better at content, and we're going to get more and more content uploaded to YouTube, of course. Um, thanks again for watching, and on next week's show... This week we've got a, a, a bit of an interesting build on Jamie's 105 series, so uh, hopefully we can get that out in the bush and show you how it goes as well, because it's, it's a... Again, it's not an expensive beast, but it's a beast. Feel free to leave us any comments you want, ask any questions. That's it. No point making things illegal. That's right. By the way, I'm a qualified motor mechanic. I've been <laughs> playing with four-wheel drives for 30 years now, so... Again, <laughs> yeah. thanks for watching, Thank guys. You. We'll see you on the next one, and thanks for tuning in. Yep. Thank you.